Hi, my name is Brian Norton with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads, and today we're going to take a look at the 06 controller. Belva Smith is going to show it to us and kind of show us how you can use it to get access to your mobile device. So let's take a look. Hi, I'm Belva here at the Easter Seals Assistive Technology Department, and today I'm going to show you a device that I have just recently discovered. It's called the 06 eyes free device and it was actually invented or developed um, to be mainstream technology to allow an individual to have hands free and eyes free access to their smartphones um, but I have found it to be very valuable for my individuals um, that have different abilities to access their um, iPhones. If you are using voiceover on the iPhone you have to double tap to answer an incoming call and that can be quite Quite challenging for some individuals so what I found is that with just a simple press of the button I can now answer my calls end my calls I can also read my emails or my text messages I can even respond to those this basically um, is just a little bitty round um, device that has two buttons the center button um, does one action and then the outside button does another action and then there's also a spin wheel that allows me to um, navigate. Now I do have voiceover on my phone and a little bit later Nicole and I will be demonstrating how I can actually answer my phone without ever touching it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and wake my phone up. So I'm going to press the center button. 9.08 a.m. And then I'm going to scroll down. Tuesday, January 16th. Press home to unlock. And then I'm going to go ahead and press the center button again. And now it's asking for my passcode. And rather than putting in my passcode, I'm just going to use my thumb to unlock my phone. And now my phone is unlocked and I can easily navigate all of the apps on my phone just with a turn of the wheel. Notes. App Store. And if I want to go into one of the apps, all I have to do again is press that center button messages and it jumped notes. back app store of course 17 updates of so then store. now it opened okay. the app store Tuesday, for me january 16 and i can navigate that page so if this were a web page all i have to do is spin the wheel and it's going to read get your family organized all the information on the page to help your kin collaborate Button. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that app and return to my home screen without ever touching my home button, but by pressing on the outside button of this device. Apps. And now I'm back on the home screen. This device also has some accessories that come separate from it. This one is a clip. So I can actually set the device inside of this and then clip it onto my pocket or my shirt. Um, and then it also has one that they developed for the steering wheel because remember I said this was really invented for a mainstream technology device to allow an individual to be eyes free and hands free while they're driving to access their smartphones. But I'm thinking this will be a perfect um, device to allow me to attach this to an individual's wheelchair because it's just the right size to be attached on there. And then I will be able, they would be able then to access um, their buttons without ever touching their device. So I'll ask Nicole to go ahead now and give me a call. Messages. And she's going to call in just a minute. And you notice too, I don't even have my phone in front of me because that's not necessary. So I have an incoming call. I'll press the center button. Hello, Nicole. Hello. So now I've accepted that call. And if I wanted to end that call, I can turn the wheel. And it's very quietly in the voiceover voice letting me know where I'm at on the screen. And as soon as I get down to the end call button, I'll press that center button again. And I've just ended the call and went back to my home screen all without ever having to do any swipes or double taps, um, but with quick, easy access to my phone calls, messages, text, music, all that stuff. So that's your tech tip for this week. My name is Brian Norton with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.